Hi, this is Russ from Production Expert, and I want to show you how to tempo map a piece of audio that's been given to you that's never had a click track put to it, so the timing's going to be all fast and loose. And I'm going to do that in Studio One. What I need to do first is get the audio, and I'm just going to drag and drop it from the timeline over here. It's acoustic guitar. There you go. And if we turn the metronome on, which we have already, and uh, have a listen to this, you'll hear straight away that it's nothing like the uh, the tempo that's been set in the session. Now, what I could do straight away is go into the into the uh, tempo here and start to uh, try and make it match. I know it's around seventy or eighty. What I'm going to do straight away is open the tempo uh, lane so you can see that in action and. Uh, the quickest way to do this is very straightforward in Studio One. Right mouse click on the track, go to Edit with Melodyne. You often think of Melodyne as, as tuning, but it also helps with timing. And if we come down here now, it'll say confirm 66 BPM to 90 BPM as the file tempo. So as you can see, it's seen a tempo change all over the place during this. So I just grab it like that and do that. Then I grab the audio here and I pick it up and I drag it up here to the tempo lane. But what I'm going to do first before I do anything else is I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to tab to transient by using the, the tab uh, button on my keyboard. That finds the first transient in the audio. I'm going to press uh, Option X, cut that piece of audio, and drag it up to bar 2 there. Now it's, it's on the beat. Then what I'm going to do, I'm now going to pick it up and drag it to the tempo map. And now I'm on the bar, we have it mapped from there. Now it now does tell me that it's got a working tempo of, of if I click there, of 73. So what I'm going to do as well is grab this one here and just move that down to about 73, which now means I have a four bar click 74 will do for the purpose of this experiment. Now let's take a listen. Now the magic of doing this now is if I bought a uh, a, a drum uh, VI in, such as Easy Drummer or something like that, uh, or or a, a MIDI keyboard, and I played the keyboard along, the quantized values would follow that tempo map. It's it's brilliant and easy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.